Thoughts on psychedelics, especially about ego death. Have you ever partook, Jason? Yeah, I've done the psychedelics. Um, I, I, I like the way Sam Harris and um, Chandria, I forget his name, the last interview that Sam did on uh, his Waking Up app with a gentleman from uh, England talking about the nature of self and, and psychedelics and Bayesian inference. So the theory is that the mind constructs reality. So think about this for a second. <clears throat> we talk about these thought experiments where what if you were just a brain in a vat? You know, how would that be and so on? Well, the truth is you are. You are a brain in a vat. Because let's say you believe the materialist paradigm, which is there's a brain in a skull with a bunch of nerves going to sense organs, and it's perceiving the outside world like a camera would perceive and creating images and, and so on that, are, that represent the outside world. Well, think about that for a second. That means you're a brain where everything is happening purportedly. <clears throat> this is what's generating consciousness according to the materialist. It's generating all experience. Okay, so that brain is literally in a dark skull and it has no access to the outside world except through these thin fibers that end in sense organs. And something like light can hit your retina and it's converted into something that is not light. It's converted into electricity, electrical impulses, ion channels, and so on through nerves. That's nothing like light. And somehow that then is reconstructed into an image by a bunch of other cells that are using electricity. How the fuck can that be showing you what's out there? Uh, <clears throat> this is entirely your experience now. Just really feel into this. Look around, feel your body, listen to sounds, okay? All of this is constructed in your brain, purportedly seeing a world outside, but as I just described, how could it possibly do that accurately? So you're making a world, everything in your experience right now is a construction of the mind in this sense, right? So, how does the mind construct reality? Well, what this guest was saying to Sam is that there's something called Bayesian inference where the mind creates a predictive model of what something is based on one prior experience. So what are your priors? What have you experienced before? Let's use those to weigh in on what this is. And the second thing is the probabilities of something being the case. So if you see a four-legged animal coming to you in a city, your prior experience says that's a cat. The probability of it being a tiger in this city are close to zero. So the brain constructs it as a cat. Now, if those were different, if your prior experience was, no, these are tigers running around and the probability of tigers is higher, you're gonna see a tiger. Now, what's actually there? Who knows? You can't know. There's no possibility of knowing. So the brain creates these things. So how does this relate to psychedelics? Pretty directly. As we get older, I was just pointing at this. As we get older, <clears throat> the number, the, our, our stockpile of priors, of experience and probabilities becomes pretty so solid. Like now we know, we think we know what the world is, right? When you're a kid, you go to Disneyland and that shit is magic. Fucking magic, like how is this even happening? Go there as an adult without a kid, all right? So you're not having to see through their eyes and getting all that magic by proxy. You're just going to that shit and you're checking it out. And assuming you're not one of these weird fuckers that just loves Disney, and there are a lot of weird fuckers. Angelo is one of them. He loves Disney, man, and I get it, but I don't get it because when I go there as a separate self, all my priors say it's a small world is a shitty fucking paper mache hellscape. And the Jungle Cruise is a teenage fucking kid shouting into a megaphone about animatronic bullshit. So all my priors now tell me what to see there. For a kid, they don't have any of that shit. So now drop a shit ton of mushrooms, go to Disneyland. What the psychedelics do maybe is reset your priors. They take them down back to childhood level and everything is new again. And for the period that you're on the psychedelic, it's like that. And for a period afterwards during the so-called integration, 
where you now have a chance to rewrite the story of the world that you experience in a different way because the priors have been erased and your brain's predictive model has been fucked with. And so now you can do something transformative, be less depressed, quit smoking, uh, awaken, whatever the fuck it is. And that's probably how, I, 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 I really think that is a great, as, a, as great an explanation as any of how psychedelics ha can have a benefit. Now, of course, they can cause psychosis, they can cause instability because sometimes our priors and our predictive model are the only thing holding us together. And you take that away and shit unravels really fast. Now, awakening can do that too. No self-realization is very destabilizing. Like I find myself, um, just sometimes just going, why did I even go down this route? It's so unpleasant because <laughs> you start feeling everything. You feel everything and there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to go. There's no reference point anymore. You can't put your head down anywhere because there's nowhere. There's only this. It's very destabilizing. And yet, and yet it's perfect. It's brilliant. It's unconditional love. So apparently it, it, you keep going. There's no you, there's no going. There's just this.